for Lucy this night. It's like pleasure to meet you, actually. And, and um, I was okay. Let's start. As an actress, you know <coughs> there are like different challenges you're always up to. Um, but what was the hardest thing you had to do at this movie? Uh, I think, well, it was definitely uh, learning about the physical side of Jin's character. So doing hours and hours of stunt rehearsal before I'd get to set. So I would often uh, get up very early in the morning and then I'd do it. I'd be, I think the crew thought I was completely crazy because I'd just run around the uh, the unit base like a few times <laughs> before going into makeup and just doing everything to to make Jin as convincing as possible. But like anything, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of focus. So you had to do a lot of workout too. So it was, but it was always trying to make the um, the workouts match the stunts that I would be doing. So. Uh, throughout the film, Jin is in all sorts of, uh, uh, which I won't reveal, but w wild and wonderful situations. And it was trying to, so we would imitate those, the nature of those stunts in the gym. And so say it was some kind of climbing thing, I'd be doing a lot of climbing. And, uh, and then with the, the fight sequences, it was based on a form of martial arts called wushu. So I would be watching videos about wushu. I did some kung fu training. It was it just a kind of full on attack on, on, on making it as believable as possible. Cool. But I actually was like, I've seen a bit and I think you did great work. Thank you, thank you. Do you think, would you say like you are kind of like <coughs> Jin, like maybe in your personality or something? I think so. I think uh, Jin, I mean, you always, there's the essence is you bring yourself to any part that, that you play. But, but I, I do, I like to find the things that are different between us. And I, I think Jin, to me, she felt she's quite kind of, um, she's not analytical. She doesn't overthink things, which I probably do sometimes. Um, she's much more kind of immediate. She's, um, she responds in the moment. She's, she's had to look after herself. She's had to look out for herself. So she's, she's, she is someone who can defend herself and she kind of, um, she has a wonderful kind of animal spirit to her. Cool. But um, tell me if I'm wrong, but like, I think it's the first time you have a lead role on a sci-fi movie. It is, How yes. How do you feel about it? I absolutely loved it. I mean, I I equally like playing supporting roles. I think it depends very much on the type of the role. But it was it, it felt like a huge um, challenge. It felt like um, it was a rare opportunity. I that had never come to me before to play the lead in a you know in as you say a science fiction film. And, um were you a huge fan of the franchise, like the Star Wars franchise? Yeah, I grew up, I very much grew up as a tomboy and I, I had lots of boy cousins and uh, an older brother and so we'd we'd often come and sit and watch the early Star Wars films and we'd kind of be sitting cross-legged by the TV and be completely captivated by them. So um, so it's very special to come back to it and then, and then watching them as an adult is so different from watching them as a child but they're still completely entertaining and entrancing. Like, like so it's such a special franchise. And I, I guess that's, that's just it. But uh, I mean, it was really nice to meet you. Thank you for your time. And Thank you very much. And I like, as much as I've seen, I like the movies. Oh, good. <laughs> Great. Hi, Radio Planeta. I hope that you enjoy the film. Um, I can't wait for you to see it.